Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Larry Barbier. I really was hoping that I wouldn't be first. But then when he said I could pick a designee to give my speech, thank you, Bob, for giving my speech for me. I appreciate it. And I did see that photograph of me up there in my Speedo. <laughs> Trust me, that would not be a pretty sight today. <laughs> I would like to begin by thanking the Varsity Club. They've treated me like a king and my whole family. Um, Mary Jo Philhauer and the rest of the Varsity Club have been terrific. The gift basket they left in the hotel room was beautiful and it's already been plundered by my daughters, however. But yes, and um, you should never have put that bottle of wine in there. Uh, but I'd like to thank you very much. It's been, this has been a wonderful evening. It's, you've all been very wonderful to me and I really appreciate it. Um, they gave me a great escort, Eric Ress, who really took me to the wrong place for the photographs. And <laughs> then it took me 15 minutes too early to the outside to, for the entrance, but hey, he's a nice guy and he combed his hair tonight. So thank you, Eric, I appreciate it. I'd like to thank my family for coming tonight, um, my wife Janie, um, Jenna North, my niece, my daughter Emily, my daughter Katie, and my son Jimmy, who um, I also swam here as well. Yesterday when I was preparing my remarks, my wife Janie sent me an email with a prayer from Mother Teresa about humility. Um, I think she was speaking to me there. I think, I think this was starting, she felt this was starting to go to my head. But then when I read the bios of the other people who were being inducted this evening, I thought, man, I am humble because I can't believe that I got chosen for this great honor um, compared with the you know, accomplishments of the other people who were inducted this evening. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it and I am truly humbled. I loved my time at IU. Um, Bob Hiller, you saw his remarks. He was my best friend here in school and has been my lifelong friend. I had the privilege of swimming for Doc Councilman. Hobie Billingsley was a diving coach who I loved too. Um, Marge Councilman, his wife, had us over for lasagna every weekend on Sundays. It was just a wonderful experience. Doc was probably the one of the best coaches, at least, in any sport. Um, he was certainly a great swim coach. Even more importantly, he was a great man who really taught us how to lead the right kind of life. My father died when I was a junior in college. Doc put his arm around me and said, I'll be like a father to you, and he was. Um, he stood for all the right values, all the core values. Um, so did Hobie, so did Marge, and they really set us off on our life in, a, in the best possible way. I loved the school, I loved the swim team, I made great friends that lasted forever. And five years ago, when my son Jimmy was looking for schools to go to, he was interested in IU. And I really hadn't followed IU too much. There was a period of time after Doc retired when the team really wasn't that good. But when Ray Luz came to our house to talk to Jimmy and to recruit Jimmy, he was just terrific. And I thought, I looked him in the eye, he was telling me the truth, and I thought, boy, I would really hope Jimmy goes there and he has a gr his experience as great as I did. And he truly did. He swam here all four years. In fact, he redshirted, so he was here five years. And Janie and I got to come and watch his meets in Bloomington. We really got to reconnect with the school. And the coach, I was so happy because the coaches here, Ray Luz, Mike Westfall, Donnie Brush, who are all here tonight, and thank you for coming. Not only did they coach the kids great, they, made, they turned them into to a top 10 national program again, top three in the Big Ten again. Not only did, did they do a great job coaching, but they did what Marge and Doc and Hobie did for us. They taught Jimmy to live his life the right way, to live by the right values, and to really work hard and be a good person, and I couldn't be happier. Those are the things that Janie and I sent Jimmy to college to learn, and by gosh, he learned them. Thank you all very much. This is, this is so much bigger of an event than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I know you're not all here to hear me talk, so I'm gonna get off the stage in a minute, but thank you very much. I'm very proud and I'm very humble at the same time, and I really appreciate the honor. Thank you. <laughs> 